What up guys, your boy Kyle this and we're back with another one. Now I have another farming video. I know my last video was a farming video, but this one's a little bit more fun just because you get three new sets out of it and you get uh, gold <laughs> weapons and purple weapons. There are two different uh, farming areas I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you the sets first. So right now I'm wearing the Elder set, which is a magic uh, set. And I don't play magic. I never have, probably never will in any game, but it is a solid looking set and it does solid stuff. It has really solid stats. Um, the other set is the Radiant Paladin set, which I think is really solid. Uh, it's actually more my favorite set or more my speed just because it is a melee set. I'm just going to let you look at the stats real quick of it. It's just a really, really good looking set as well. It actually kind of looks a lot like this. And then the last set is the Eagle Eye. And the Eagle Eye is made for like the bow player that has like the long range criticals. That's what you're looking for. Maybe a little bit of stamina regen. This is a good set. Let me go ahead and show you um, this one. So this one, like I said, is a magic set, really solid for a magic player, really solid set for a magic player, especially if you don't uh, have the, the means to make one of the late game sets yet. You can just come over here and farm these. This is the second area to farm. Now, I did have trouble getting the chest piece of this and the paladin set to drop. They actually have a very low drop rate, it seems like. But uh, now that I got in the drop, I got in the drop three times. So maybe it was just my bad RNG. The first place I'm going to show you has a lot of gold weapons. Now, the first place is actually very consistent. I ran it for maybe 30 minutes, like honest to God, and I got all these gold weapons from it. And in all the, in that 30 minutes, I also got all these purple weapons. And actually, all these boxes behind me are filled with gold and purple weapons. I just set all these to the side just for you guys. So going to the map, this is where we are. Uh, home, you're going to want to come straight up and you're going to move east, as far east as you can. I know I've been going to late game areas, but guys, it is much easier to get to late game than you think. Now you just come over to the desert area because I am a late game Andy, so this is where I'm at. So this was where my last video was, where I showed you how to farm the first three sets. So you can get six sets in total just by doing these next two uh, farming spots. You're going to come down to the ancient spire, and then you're going to fly across to the sun temple. That's where our first farming spot is. I've already put a little home there so we can fast travel. Now, <clears throat> the Sun Temple, if it doesn't show up on your map, it can be hard to see from the temple because it is encased in rock. I'll show you. It sets underneath like a cliff or whatever, as you can see. Uh, but there is the spire, and here is the Sun Temple underneath everything. What you're going to want to do is bring a, a shrine over here. Go ahead and break down two shrines if you've got max shrines and uh, keep two on you. So your first shrine, you're going to put it in here wherever you want. You're going to come in here. You're going to go down the first set of stairs. And you're going to come to the first door. You're going to open the door. Run through because there's enemies on your right. Uh, run down to the, to the left to the next set. Open this door. You're going to jump over this little mycelium right here. You're going to see a gold chest. Open it. We got a purple axe. We don't care about that. I don't care about that. You probably don't care about that either. We're going to close out. Load back in. Uh, you can definitely use all these purple uh, just to break them down for money. Or, you know, there are some purples that are really solid. What I've noticed about this is if I get like a purple weapon... I have also gotten that same version of a weapon, but in gold. So it was actually pretty cool. I guess there might be gold variants of every weapon in the game. I'm not 100% on that, but I definitely have a lot of the same weapons, gold and purple. We're on one more time. We got the guillotine. Trash. So I'm going to back out and load back in instead of having to run back up the stairs because we are in shrouded right now, so I can't fast travel. It's actually faster for me to load back into the game instead of running back through all the enemies. So that was that run. We got two purples, which wasn't the greatest, but whatever. Uh, you're going to come back to the Ancient Spire. This is where I want you to come. You can come down here to this Elixir Root area and do this mission. This is a pretty easy mission to do. I would suggest doing it because you'll clear a lot of this out. And then you're going to come up through here or you're going to come around through here. Whatever works for you, just as long as you get to hear the deep cut. Now, if you're lost in the, the shadow of the map... Just know that this Sun Temple is always on your map. So just kind of go that direction and look for this. There is another Elixir Well. I would highly suggest staying away from this. There is a gold chest there, and it is very nice. It has a lot of the same drops we're going to see. But, dude, the enemies here are hardcore. Stay away from that. So I've already put a home here. There is a boss here, and everything in this area is a level 30. So it is extremely, extremely dangerous area. Um, but... Once you kill the boss, the boss is gone for good, I'm pretty sure. So it, it looks fine. So as you can see, we're up on top. The boss will set right here and walk around. It's a matron. It's the one that throws the uh, poison acid or whatever. She's extremely easy boss, but she can one-shot you, which kind of sucks. So right off the bat, we already got eagle eye gloves. These are the three chests that you're going to farm these last three sets from. 
What you're also seeing me do is sprint and jump at the same time. This helps us conserve stamina. I may make a tech video showing you like little tips and tricks, auto canceling and stuff like that. It really depends on you guys if you say that in the comments that you want. This is the next chest. Trash. The only thing you're going to want to bring is a failing axe because you're going to have to break that door every time. And then once you break that door, you come out. Oh, perfect roll dodge. See that? We're going to go right across the bridge. Now, this is a very dangerous chest to go for because this little green dude's in here. Just jump on the chest. Oh, my God. He's going to be special. <laughs> special. Okay. Our build's pretty insane, even with this light armor. There's no way he kills us. So we're just going to load out. If I had my full heavy armor, that guy would not... He would just tickle us to death. The reason he's hitting us so hard is because we have um, a light armor on, because I'm wearing that uh, mage set. But at the same time, he still didn't kill us because the build's ridiculous. I'll put a build video out, guys. So we're just going to run this one more time just so you can see. Okay, we got the Ring of the Ancients. I meant to go over that before. The Ring of the Ancients is dope. This is actually my third one that I have got from this. This is a really strong ring. Uh, like I said, I've ran this for maybe a couple hours, and I've gotten three of these. These rings are, are kind of busted. I, I can't wait to try to incorporate them into a couple builds. So, yeah, that's actually a really good drop. Glad we saw that. So, so far, we've been able to get a piece of one of the sets, and we've gotten a really solid ring. So, that's that's really good. And, you know, it's funny because I said the first area is actually really consistent, and we got two purples in a row, which is kind of funny. So... <laughs> It is what it is. But you guys will probably have better RNG than me. My uh, friends have consistently made fun of me for the past decade because I have the worst RNG out of everybody that they've ever gamed with. Let's see. A shield of light. That's actually a really solid shield. Uh, we're just not going to worry about that because I've got like 40 of those. So I'm just going to close out. Load back in. That pretty much sums it up. Uh, I'm going to probably run this one more time just for you guys just so you can see what's going on. But you get the gist of it. I just want to show you that you can get these sets. These sets are in the game. I, like I said, I don't know if anybody's made a video on these at all. Uh, I didn't see anything online. Elder Trousers, nice. That's you know part of what we're wearing right now. But, uh, you know, it is a lot easier to come over to the first area that I went over, that first um, little run through. You can do that. If you watch my last video, then you can definitely make it to the next area. That's probably the best one to run. This one is just super dangerous. All right, we got two for two. Can we go three for three, dude? A little three for three piece? This will be the last time I run this. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I can only imagine. I'd say half of you already quit out. Ah, uh, we got the shield again. All right. All right, guys, that pretty much sums it up. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps this channel a lot. It helps me out a lot. My next video will probably be something over here in the late game area because I am a late game Andy. And then eventually I'll put out a build video or a couple builds. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the future. Later, guys. <laughs> okay.